One of the most fascinating of all dances, the tango is a sensual ballroom dance that originated in Buenos Aires, Argentina in the early 20th century. Switch. The tango dance is usually performed by a man and a woman, expressing an element of romance in their synchronized movements. Originally, the tango was performed only by women, but once it spread beyond Buenos Aires, it developed into a dance for couples. The blossom of tango started in the 30s, when it got the status of national dance in Argentina. Carlos Gardel played an important role in its raising, and he is considered as the father of dance. In 2009, UNESCO included tango in the world's cultural heritage of mankind. Each dance is unique and presents its requirements for partners. In many cases, contact is needed, especially in tango. If you are interested in how to dance the tango, then be prepared for some difficulties. Tango is a sensual dance that requires full understanding and sensuality between partners. The most beautiful scene is the tango of Al Pacino and Gabriela Anwar in the film, Scent of a Woman. She danced the tango with Al Pacino, whose character was blind. In 2014, Hawaiian dance teachers Brett and Jennifer Griswold danced the Argentine tango for an unbelievable 38 hours and 30 minutes. Even more incredibly, this record-breaking performance was actually the Griswold's second attempt of the day. Switch. Camera problems meant they had to abandon their first tango marathon after two hours and start again from scratch. The world record for the most tango spins in a minute is 37. This remarkable achievement was made by Tim Ferriss with his dance partner Alicia Monti, live on TV in 2006. Switch. Their record worked out at around one spin, complete with fancy footwork, every 1.6 seconds. It takes most of us longer than that to get out of a chair. There is a record for the highest tango ever danced, and it's very high indeed. It may feel like quite an odd record to want to break, but when you live in the home of tango, everything is on the table, or in this case, on the platform elevated high, high above Buenos Aires. In 2016, Mora Godoy and Jose Lugans donned harnesses to dance 60.4M above the ground on a stage suspended from a crane next to Buenos Aires' famous obelisk. The subway system in Buenos Aires has a lot more to do with tango than you might think. In 2003, the local government of Buenos Aires passed a law which indicated that the to-be-established new H-line in the subway system should be created as a culturally tango tour of the subway. As a result, every station on the H-line ended up being decorated in memory of different tango personalities. Today you can see the results if you jump on the subway and navigate your way to the H-line. Each station is decorated with its own artworks referring to big Argentine tango personalities or their big hits.